everybody. Uh, how y'all doing? EXP1 here. Uh, just uh, out and about, doing some errands, running around. Gonna go trade, sell some guns. Uh, make some money so I can buy some other cool shit. Anyway, uh, last couple days been overcast. We had rain, washed away all the snow, and uh, ain't seen no spraying before. Yesterday was kind of pretty nice, but it didn't do nothing. And then all of a sudden today, it's a little bit warmer today, so that even goes against what chemtrail logic, contrail. <laughs> uh, they're spraying the fuck out of us today, guys. I mean, today started clear blue without a cloud in the sky and now we've got Kim Hayes on a couple of the areas of the of my view and they're gonna not stop until they do the whole fucking thing and I was just talking to my aunt on the phone I'm gonna stop by there this is my aunt my grandma my cousin later and you know I woke them up and uh she was saying she was just talking about this shit the other day and how it's just got her all anxiety out and stuff and uh you know, it does me too. I don't know how I hold it together. I mean, all this shit on top of regular life bullshit, no money, and fucking all the, and then this shit dumped on you? Fuck. That's crazy, but they're spraying the fuck out of us, take my word for it. I, I ain't even mess with showing you right now, unless later, unless I'm stopped somewhere. It's aggravating. It's disgusting, and I fucking can't stand it, and it's, it's murder. Murdering our fucking boss and our kids, and our pets and our land. Sorry, I got my arm in front of the camera. Ah, uh, <laughs> unbelievable. That's what it is, and uh, all of it's unbelievable, really, until you wake up and, and open your mind and. Uh, critically think and question things. Don't just take everything you're handed to. I mean, it's our fucking lives. Our freedom is at stake. And, and people just don't give a fuck. Because they're too worried about, you know, where they're going to go out and eat steak and shake. And then they're going to go over here to fucking go shopping at the fucking mini mall before they get home to see America's Got the Best Town who can fucking whistle zippity doo dah out of their fucking asshole better than anybody else just to keep everybody from fucking looking at the truth push that alcohol because it makes you dumb as shit. It does. I used to be a fucking drunk, I know. Um, that's another thing, why they are so against the hemp oil, hemp products, marijuana, everything, because it's not bad for you at all. It's fucking, it's a, it's a joke. And plus you got all the industry uh, would completely change and become affordable and all the big companies would be getting all the money because they all this other shit that hemp could um, actually uh, you know do the same thing as or surpass you know and you can grow hemp at such a fucking quick rate compared to a forest of trees cannabis used to be legal not too long ago, there's some deer on the side of the road eating, cool. Um, and then they figured out, oh, then the Fed come along and there you go. And I, okay, so it's gonna be all over the place. You know, I'm on to the JFK and, and all this shit, man. I know pretty much I got my own ideals. You know, they might not be all the bright ideals, but I pretty much think I'm on the right track with a lot of stuff. I'm open to everything. But hard facts and evidence don't lie. But uh, the thing, I mean, I just saw something. I watched this William Cooper, uh, Hold the Pale Horse, uh, right before his book came out. He was doing his lecture, four hour lecture. You know, I just learned about this Schneider guy and Dulce underground bunker and alien human army 
shootout and the Army breaking into two. U.S. Army breaking into two sections. And one trying to overthrow the other because we had alien UF, alien contact, you know, on the Roswell crash site, Area 51. It all makes sense, man, now. I mean, I watch all this Paul Schneider shit about the underground boring and everything and how these fucking gray aliens and whites and reptilians and a few other have been coming here and been inhabiting this land, this earth for fucking ever. <laughs> and how we've got so many fucking underground bases, it's ridiculous. It's, it's unbelievable. All the money is spent on this, and it's all comes from it. All and it all goes, and everybody thinks it's a joke. It all goes back to the Illuminati, the elite, corporate bankers, and such. <laughs> That's one big fucking plan. That it's one world order on a whole level. I've learned it, or at least I think, you know, through military documents and shit. I mean, it could all be fake. It could be fake documents from the military to throw William Cooper off. Uh, you know, saying there's aliens and stuff. It could be a lie to impose martial law or one world order so they can say that we could come together as one to fight this alien presence, even though supposedly Eisenhower and Truman fucking knew about it. They signed a fucking agreement, treaty with the aliens to <laughs> for their technology and they let them let the aliens take a few cattle and humans for experimentalization and then supposedly it got out of hand and there was like thousands and thousands of people, women especially, kids, uh, there was cloning going on, sexual thing, sick stuff, these aliens are supposed to be sick and disgusting and dirty and gross and stink and got all kind of fucking germs shit but our germs are deadly to them man I don't even know look into the fucking Dulcie underground attack or alien shootout somebody Schneider Paul Schneider somebody like that and look into William Cooper and how he was killed so look at these people's fucking track records and look at their fucking backgrounds and their uh, career history. I don't think that they're fucking crackpots, man. They might not be right about everything, and everybody goes on, you know, but you know what? It all makes sense. Don't seem like people are lying to me when, I, when I'm when i listening to this. Don't seem like stories being made up, and then there's a few other men who are on their deathbed talking about shit, being security, military, and Area 51, and at the Roswell crash site, and uh, cleaning up, and, and loading the alien bodies, and and whatnot and, uh, stuff and, and so they could do reverse technology on the fucking saucers and the, uh, the triangle shaped fighter type ships they had <laughs> and all these fucking sightings is fucking just about real I mean this is crazy it ain't like Bigfoot this is fucking where you see shit I mean if you think you've seen something in the sky you probably have from what I'm fucking coming in with all this shit I've been researching this year about four days now straight and I've always been open to I'm sure there's an alien life form out there of intelligent uh, capabilities and I'm pretty goddamn sure they've been coming here for a long time and we the military and the government's known about it since at least the late 20s early 30s are they keeping it from us? And then the movies, how they all portray what they really look like, probably. I mean, the movies, Hollywood, government, it's all in it. Is that to scare you or is that a whistleblowing showing you what's really going on or is it whistleblowing showing you a hoax like the moon? And then, if you believe the alien thing, then that puts a new spin on the moon thing. Are they acting like they couldn't go to the moon and made the fake, the, no, made the video about how they fake going halfway to the moon? Because they couldn't even go there. They couldn't, they couldn't even leave Earth orbit. Are they putting that shit out there for disinfo? Because there's diff disinfo government agents everywhere. That's been going on since a long time. 
his ad put there so we can all question if we went to the moon or not. They took all the money plus there really is aliens on the moon and we saw shit we shouldn't have. I mean I don't I don't buy it because I don't think we're able to get through the moon unless the fucking aliens fucking took us and zapped us through there in a fucking teleport and jump system. I, who knows? All I know is everything we see is we're treated like a bunch of fucking moronic fucking simpletons. We don't need to know on a need to know basis. And we're just financing the fucking the fucking war machine and the fucking technology and, and the our own demise is what we're doing. And it sounds nuts and crazy and I fucking know it. But these guys that said this shit, it takes some fucking big giant fucking balls to fucking go out and did, do what they did, put their life on the line and uh, you know, ultimately we're murdered for this. And then I heard some other shit about JFK. Like he was orchestrated the whole Cuban Missile Crisis and, and all that shit and it was all fake and then, you know, he was a liability uh, to the CIA. You know, fucking, that's bullshit I think. Uh, what I think is that he knew we couldn't go to the moon. He probably heard about these fucking alien shit wanted to tell the fucking population about it. And he went against the Fed and wanted to do against secret societies. He wanted to uh, dismantle the CIA because he knew they were no good bunch of motherfucking pieces of shit. Corrupt as fuck. And murdering bastards. And then it all comes back to the JFK murder. Assassination. Where... See, this is where I, I looked and analyzed and went through all that fucking shit footage. And I thought first... It was just, you know, three different snipers, and then, you know, I never thought it was. Lee Harvey Oswald always was a patsy. <laughs> I say he's totally innocent in it, but he, he didn't pull the triggers, and I don't think, he may have killed Tibbet, but I still don't think either. <laughs> but uh, he might have. He's trying to flee for his life after he fucking realized, just like the Boston Bombers, that, hey, we just got set up. Or is it all just a movie? But anyway, um, shit, I forgot my fucking point. Um, JFK. Okay, how it looked like the driver shot him, but then if you look at it really good, it looks like that's just a glimpse of the sun coming off the passenger's head, you know, both agents, and then behind him you get Connolly, and then uh, the other guy, or his wife, and then, you know, I, I thought Connolly shot him in the head, because it looks like the fucking driver turns around and shoots him, but then if you look at it, it looks like he turns around and it's just a glimpse off the guy's head. So you don't know. William Cooper thinks that's what it is, that the driver shot him. I don't know. I can't tell because film's been manipulated uh, over the years and right away. Edited. It's a brooder film. We'll never know. But all I know is he was killed by the goddamn fucking government, the Fed, the fucking banksters, the fucking Rothschilds and Rockefellers. All the alphabet groups were in on it. Lyndon Johnson fucking was in on it, and he probably fucking orchestrated most of it, Nixon was in on it, and then you got Nixon, who I thought was, is a piece of shit, I found out that he was friends with, uh, uh, what's his name, <laughs> Jackie Gleason, you know, to the moon, Alice, wow, and he supposedly, Nixon went and fucking took him and showed him at Area 51, uh, shit from the fucking Roswell, the aliens and shit, because he knew police was really into it and shit. You know, all these elite and all these fucking actors and all the elite ones and all the big time millionaires and stars, the real big ones, not just the puppets, but the big ones that are like, they're up another notch because they're not up there totally with them, but they're there, up higher. They're all in on this shit. They all know it's a big fucking joke. I mean, do you not see these elite people getting caught now, like playing poker on their fucking phones and their iPhones when they're in hearings about people dying in, in, in Benghazi and, and uh, you know, selfies and funerals, even though, uh, you know, that guy's a piece of shit. Nelson Mandela gives a fuck, you know, disrespectful, yeah, all that stuff, but... Uh, Obama's taking selfies. They don't care about none of it. It's all a joke to them. It's all a fucking joke. And it's sickening. And it's got to fucking stop. We need to take this fucking country back. I'm sick of it. 
and I'll fucking lead the way if need be. I ain't gonna fucking stand for it, man. If this shit ever comes to me, it's not gonna be good. I will not allow tyranny in my presence or bullying of any kind. Don't tolerate it. <clears throat> anyway, guys, I guess that's enough. It's uh, another long one. I'm uh, almost to my destination. And uh, I'll maybe make another video let you know how it all went. Thinking I'm uh, make a little money and have a nice addition to my lever action collection. Anyway, guys, take care. Love y'all. They're spraying a huge fucking line out here right now. I'm going to try and show you. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I'm going to let that camera try and focus. I don't know if you're seeing it or not, but they're laying them down, they're laying them long, laying them big. They're spreading quick. They're the real visible ones. Anyway, I got to go. Peace.